Thank you. I mean, that was a good break. We had a good break. Uh, we slid in a new guest who's going to be here with us this segment and the next segment. Uh, his name is Rashawn Herco, and he is a martial arts master as well as an amazing human being. Let's give him a little love. Rashawn Herco. Welcome, brother. Welcome to the show. I know you're sweating because you brought in your exercise. Do you call it an exercise dummy? Yeah, it's a wooden dummy. It's uh, used for training martial arts, uh, particularly for the system I do, Wing Chun, Kung Fu. Uh, okay. It's an amazing training device. It helps with uh, conditioning, with timing, um, with your ability to strike. Okay. Uh, it's just amazing. It's a system that Bruce Lee did when he was a kid. Okay. Uh, my grandmaster is the guy who taught Bruce Lee. Right, right. Uh, my master, my, my teacher, Master Philip Redman, uh, has been my mentor since I was about eight or nine years old. Nice. I uh, started training with him when I was a kid. After training with different other martial artists, I found my home to be with Master Redman and with Wing Chun. Nice. Um, eventually, I uh, started training with him and became the assistant instructor of his school over many years. He's trained and helped refine my skills. Uh, he met Grandmaster William Chung and totally changed his life, which also changed mine. Uh, I'm going to hold you up. I'm going to hold you up because I just asked you about the damn dummy. And you just going. <laughs> I'm going to come back to you. Wait, catch your breath because I know you also carried that heavy ass thing in here. Yes, I'm going to come right back to you, but don't go nowhere. I just want the folks to say hi to you real quick. We're going to come back and, and finish up with the fabulous Melina Gay. And she's not talking about manners. Now, is it good manners, though, to call your wooden dummy a dummy? No, that's not. Not good manners. Uh -uh. What you got to call a wooden dummy? The, the wooden thing. Yeah. The wooden thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so now, what are you doing now, Melinda? You got a package there. Something you're doing right now? Oh, I have so many things I'm doing. Well, tell, let but me know what it is. I want to tell your audience members that you are just a, a, a fantastic human being, a wonderful comedian, oh, just a beautiful, you. beautiful human being. Thank and you, I baby. just thank you so much for, for on behalf of myself oh, and all those it. others who get an opportunity to share their works on your stage, on your show. You know, you do something that most people don't do. You allow people to share their gifts. Mm -hmm. And that is very mm. rare, and you are Sweet. just a jewel. So I just Sweet. want to say thank you. Sweet, thank you. That's, and, that's, that's beautiful. I well, you, you gave me my first opportunity, and I share this oh, with a lot yay. because, you know, my big claim to fame is on the soap operas. I started on One Life to Live as Nora's legal assistant back oh, in 2001. Nice, then I nice. moved over to All My Children, did some guest appearances on Guiding Light at the same time. Then I came huh. out here, landed on General Hospital as Talia. Wow. And now I have a role on The Young and the Restless as Marjorie Curtis. Nice, so my career nice. is you need to start watching nice. soap operas again. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that's my career in soap. And then when I had the opportunity to do my first feature film, which was Jessica Sinclair's Thug Love, which is this one. Thug Love. Jessica Sinclair's Thug oh, Love. Yeah, let's see if we that's get that there. on the That's That's my first feature let's film. See. That's me right here. Yes, that was enhanced. Photoshop, yay. Oh, um, hey, okay. <laughs> oh, nice. That's my first feature film that's in Blockbuster that's Netflix. Hot. And you allowed me to get on the stage and share my first film with with the audience Thank members and, and that meant a lot to me Thank and you. it's just something that I'll never forget and you know since then I've done a couple other films and I'm now executive producing a feature film that's starring Miss Marla Gibbs and you oh, yes. being directed that's by Angela good. Gibbs and as soon as Wonderful they get that, Angela Gibbs. that money in that escrow account we start filming it's ready to go it's gonna happen mm -hmm. it's gonna happen it's gonna happen sooner but a steamy later. photo like that do y'all do that with underwear is that something you Yes. I mean, do you do it without underwear so you be like no, I, method act? Uh-uh. I, all of my films are appropriate <laughs> that my grandmother is able to watch. So oh. you can actually watch this film. Your grandmother watched that one. She's going to be a little excited, though. That, no, she's going to I don't know if grandmama going to be watching <laughs> Thug Love. Oh, me She'll be proud because there's yeah. nothing that went crazy in that because I refused. No? I refused. My grandmother's 91. Oh, wow. so sweet I, to still I, have her. I just talked to her for an hour yesterday. She's okay, beautiful. now, so tell me where people can see you and where we can catch up with you. And I'm going to slide over to okay. this segment. Tell okay. me where. Sure. Um, you can follow me on Twitter. Follow her on Twitter. 
Melinda Howe. At Melina Gay, M-I-L-L-E-N-A-G-A-Y. Okay. I uh, also have a Facebook, which I... And a beautiful face. Oh, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. You can follow me on Facebook. There's Instagram, but I don't mind that. I have a social media intern who kind of does that kind of stuff, so... Oh, it's nice of you to be honest. See, that's what I mean by matters. Because <laughs> I'm going to have interns, though, man. I ain't telling y'all shit. I'm going to make y'all think I'm doing it the whole time. All right, go ahead. <laughs> uh, and you can also uh, email me at manners-with-melina at Gmail. And I also have a jewelry collection. Nice. Which is MGSC, the Melina Gay Signature Collection. Mm -hmm. The yeah. stones are from Dubai okay. and Asia. They're from all across the world. I wish I could buy from Dubai. These are crystals. Okay. These are crystals and uh, these particular crystals and some. Okay. So I don't make them. I don't make them. They're made by Crystal Coral Seas. Okay. CCSC. And you just sell them. them. Yeah, but I have the Melina Gay signature collection. Of, it's a line. Nice. A, a line from Crystal Coral Seas. Yeah. Well, we're so going to say goodbye to you. I'm going to say goodbye to you. Can I tell where people can get this? Tell them where you can buy them. Okay, tell you can get this. It is being retailed at 1205 North La Brea. 1205. Say it again. 1205 North La Brea. Okay. l &L's Boutique. And they know oh, how to reach you and place. your Facebook yeah. you and they have all the stuff to reach you. Exactly. And you're so wonderful and I appreciate you coming with us. Will you stick around while of we course. talk to uh, to Mr. Herkel? I, I would like, you know what, I might borrow Mr. Herkel for my show one day. Oh, yes, That's he's, a, he's, he's an amazing guest. You'll oh, find out in a moment. Love Let's give some love okay. to Miss Melina Gay. Thank, Thank you for being you. with Thank us you. today. Um, we're going to do a, a quick break again, though, so we get back on our time schedule. So we're going to take a quick one-minute break, y'all. we got to take a pause for the call. going to sell a little soap. We'll be right back at the Michael Kaya Morning Show. I, I get, get up, up late. late. Holla. Okay, so we can... Okay, morning, show. I, I get up late. late. That's my honey over there, all sweet, saucy. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -hmm. Welcome back with my friend, my great friend, uh, Roshan. I, I told you earlier when I talked to you, I didn't want to just talk to you about martial arts. I love who you are as a person, you know, as a man. Um, you've come in here before with other young men that you have encouraged, you know, and I'm, and like, tell me about the gentleman you brought in last week who's like 22 years old and he's a, a, a champion skateboarder or a uh, Isaac, uh, he's my student, actually he's my disciple. He's my, the first closed door student, which means um, he's my disciple. He gets all my kung fu, he's the one that, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna go to, he's the next master in training, you know. Wow. Kid's 22 years old, right now he's in Austria. Um, he just went from Sweden to Germany. Mm -hmm. He's in Austria. He's going to Spain and then Czech Republic, and he'll be back here. And what is he doing in all those places? Uh, he's on a scooter. He's got the little scooter like the kids ride, the, the Razor scooter. He's, right. He's made it a, a, a sport now. He's, uh, uh -huh. he's like the black Tony Hawk of scooters right now, you know? <laughs> but he's he still... also is a martial arts yeah, martial master. Arts. Master, yeah. He? He's going to be an instructor. He's one level away from being a gold sash wow. instructor. Kid's 22 years old. He has his own line, uh, his own company. He's got a shoe line, uh, which I'm shoes. always wearing his shoes. Right, right. Uh, elites. Uh, he's it, got the elites are beautiful. He gave me a pair. We showed them on the <laughs> right. show. Yeah. 22 years old, created his own shoe <laughs> uh, because he needed a more comfortable shoe for what he does. Yeah. And so he dug out the insoles and put in cushions and yeah. air vents. And 22 yeah. is what's blowing mm -hmm. my mind. Yeah. But what really blew my mind is when he came in here with you for the interview, how when he looked at you, his eyes just glowed because 
He was looking at a master, someone <coughs> who's really helping him, and that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah. We're supposed to be the mentors to our youth, so they don't have to think they have to be in a gang or they have to yeah, do some crazy. I had the same thing, you know. As a kid, I had my teacher, Master Redmond. You know, I'm from Fort Greene, from Brooklyn, so I was oh, running I was around with the, with the wild kids, <laughs> yes. you know, getting into trouble. And, and my Wait, is that right. the project where your grandmama still yeah, lives? Yeah. How old is your grandma now? She's good right now. How old yes, is she? How old? She's born uh, May 5th, 1916. Wow. So she, her birthday's coming up. She's about to be uh, 95, 96. Wow. 95. I would go yeah, into New York. and would be going on 97. 97, wow. He would bring me to her apartment, and he stays in the projects, you know. He can live wherever he wants, but he stays in the projects to be with his grandmother. That's now, I'm scared to death to go in these damn projects. He just walking there just as comfortable. Ain't nobody gonna say nothing to him. And grandmama. Well, he's a grandmaster. Grandmama, you oh, <laughs> grandmaster taking care of his grandmama. Yeah. Okay. So I just wanted to salute that part of you, the aspect Thank of you, you so that much. gives back to the youth and gives them a, a positive example. I had and, to pass yeah. it on and pass it forward. My teacher, Master Redmond, did the same to me as a kid. I was nine years mm -hmm. old, you know, looking for some type of guidance. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he took me on. He took me as a student. He trained me. Um, he put the tiger in me, you know, the nice. fearlessness in me. Nice. And, you know, it led me in a direction so that I can help and grow even when he wasn't around. Mm -hmm. So when Master Redmond finally left and went to teach at Yale University right. and other places, you know, I could still grow with my Kung Fu and as a human cool. being. Then Grandmaster Chung kind of took me under his wing. Uh, Grandmaster Chung is a, my teacher's teacher. He's a student mm -hmm. of Yip Man. And this is the guy, the guy who taught Bruce Lee? Yes, it is. 71 now, is he? How yeah, is he? 72 years old now. And, still an amazing and fighter. And kill a Brit. <laughs> He's crazy. I saw him do stuff that's magical. Yes. You know, and I'm thinking, this guy at 72. Yes. The fluidness, the way he moves, oh, it's amazing. Amazing. It it's just amazing. shows you that what you're able to do. You know, I look at to him and my teacher as, you know, look, I'm never going to get old because mm -hmm. you look at them at, at, their, at their senior ages mm -hmm. and still move so fluidly and, and mm -hmm. with such commandment, you know, mm -hmm. and it's just really amazing. Let's, so I get to look forward let's to Let's speak these next three minutes about the origin of you learning. How, how did you start getting into martial arts and how did you evolve into where you are with it? Well, starting off as a kid, you know, I'm, again, I'm from the projects and I didn't have any big brothers and sisters mm -hmm. and it was a really tough time in the projects in the early 70s. And mm -hmm. So I'm getting into a lot of fights and getting jumped a lot and really didn't know what to do. So That'll um, motivate you to learn yeah, how you to know, My uncle took me to saw a Bruce Lee movie and so I said, oh, you know what? I need to learn to do that. So anything that even remotely looked like any martial arts, I was there as a kid. I would go to a kiddie karate class or judo or something until that place burnt down or this guy died of a crack right. overdose or something, wow. whatever. Wait, let me stop you for a second because this is just something I want to uh, point out. You said he took you to a Bruce Lee film. Yes. Now you see how if you implant a thing on your mind and you hold that thought, eventually it comes to four. So you went from going to a Bruce Lee film to now you actually work with Bruce Lee's grandmaster. <laughs> now see how that worked. All right, go ahead. And I'm from Brooklyn, so who would have thought that this would have happened? Who would have thought it could happen? Yeah, go you ahead. know, so, so things are just amazing. So uh, I finally, you know, went from one teacher to the next. Uh, mm -hmm. I was with one teacher who was just crazy. I left him for his teacher. This guy was really good, but then what happened? Uh, one day I'm walking down the hill. There was an mm -hmm. argument ensued between my old teacher and my now teacher. Mm -hmm. And he fought and beat up this guy and beat up the next guy. and said you guys are pathetic and you kids want to learn some real kung fu you can come with me wow that sounds wow. like something out of a bruce and lee I movie left with him <laughs> you left and, with the winner yeah and he's been my teacher since i was nine years old i'll be 44 years old in a couple months wow wow he's still my teacher. I still hold it hold it hold it so all the stuff prior to that you were nine yet right I was nine. all this stuff happened before you were nine yes sir Wow, okay, okay, okay. Right. And from nine until now, I still train under the same teacher, my father figure, Master Philip Redman. Um, it was him that met Grandmaster Chung in 1983. Um, and when he met Master Chung, he said, came back with his sash in his hand and said, I'm no longer a master. I'm starting off as a beginner now under Grandmaster Chung. If you guys want to leave, you can. And I said, well, I'm going to stick around because if you're humbled enough to say that you're going to start as a beginner, this guy must be great. Yeah. And Grandmaster really changed our lives. and, and um, now this, you know, it's not just moves anymore. Mm -hmm. Now you learn how to fight, and you learn mm -hmm. how not to fight, mm -hmm. how to live, how to breathe, how That's to have right. balance. 
So it's very important in all aspects of life, not just in fighting, but really to keep you... It's about how you live. Yeah. You know, I could have the, gone many directions, so could my students. Yeah. This martial art has really kept us... Disciplined. But, and, I, and the key I heard in there, though, is humility, you know? And, you know, I, I, we, I was talking to my brother this morning. We were talking about God and the greatness, the greatness of God. But the greatest thing to learn about God is to be humble. You know, that's how we get the closest to God that we can get mm -hmm. is to have humility and to understand it's not about us because we ain't created. Yeah. We don't own none of this. All, everything's on loan. You know, yeah, exactly. only God to give. is the one. And, mm -hmm. and so you get that, you know. And and I know you get that because I watch your giving spirit all the time, brother. You know, it's so, so amazing. I would like to see you do some of this martial arts with this. No, I'm not going to call it dummy. Uh, the man has said the it. wooden... It's the wooden man. We'll call it's it the, the wooden, wooden man. Yes, with sir. the wooden man. Just tell me, you created that. You built that, right? No, actually, this, That's not the this one, you one was brought, is given to me as a gift from the Grandmaster. Grandmaster oh, Chung gave okay. me this. All I've right. had this for 22 years. It's older than my daughter and my granddaughter. Wow. Okay. I actually wow. developed a training apparatus. Hey, somebody get that. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I actually tra uh, developed my own training device uh, off of this. It's called a long arm wooden dummy. One day I'll show it to you guys. Okay. But it's my, one of my contributions to the art. And the Grand Master has uh, accepted it. Now it's part of our training regimen. Mm -hmm. So that's another. So just... let's have a little bit of uh, actual exhibit sure. of that. Oh, yeah. Baby, when you I'm stand, just move your chair around <laughs> to the side. Give him a little room. <laughs> and you're going to adjust the camera for him? Okay, and folks, y'all, y'all need to watch. This is just unbelievable and crazy and fabulous. Okay. I might need a couple of people to kind of hold it together. I'm wearing my regular. Uh, coat. You want me to help hold it? You can okay. hold it. Okay. Okay. I got regular clothes on today. I'm so not I'm right. talking about holding this the monster. My my woman talking about. I can hold your jacket. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Now where does he stand so that yeah, that stick near his penis doesn't? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because I'm going to, you know, I'm going to. Okay, now wait. Okay. Okay, now wait, wait, wait. Because we want to make sure the camera can actually see what you're doing instead of just your back. Mm -hmm. this, this, we're going to hook it up Maybe in such a way that when you do that, I want them to see all this. Way. Turn that way. Turn, turn, turn around that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Right there. Oh, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, okay. Now we're cooking with oil. Um, you want me to move something? You got it? Are we good? Uh, let me see. I think we're good. Are you good? Okay, we're good. Tell us what you're going to do, then do it. Well, this is, represents kind of like a human being, the way he would stand and fight. You know, his arms right. are here, maybe a push right. here. He's got a leg that he stands with. Now, this middle one, is that a third arm or a penis? Well, it, could be. <laughs> it could be a punch or a kick to the body. Oh, right, okay. Representing something okay. coming at the middle. This represents something coming at the head. This There's is the a leg, leg that you okay. got to move around. And this is obviously the body and the head. And that would be the head, the low part of the body. All right. Okay. So in Wing Chun, we use two arms at once, one hand to defend, one to counterattack at the same time. And our strategy is not to fight up the middle and set it in the middle of these two big arms. So ideally, uh, and this thing gives us some conditioning because it's made of wood. So we can do these. <laughs> Condition your arms to condition your, uh, your striking ability. When you push, doesn't nice. you know doesn't hurt the dummy, so you stay right. there for you to train some. Right, 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 right. So you get to do wonderful techniques on the wooden dummy. Wow, nice! I like that. He broke his leg right there. Kick the leg, and the leg come flying off. So, it's a great now, and it's training. not hurting you in the training? Uh, not at all. Because I only use the softer parts of my arm. Okay. I don't go bone against bone. Right. I use the softer parts. Oh, uh, okay. So, in, in real life, is that what you do too? In, a, in an actual fight? Would you use the softer part of your arm or would you move to the harder part of your arm? Uh, harder part, but the softer part here. Right. It's saving me if I move an inch more. Exactly, exactly. I understand part. it. But if it was a fight, you would use the harder oh, yeah, part yeah. of the body. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Same inflection. Okay. Just right. a different approach. Okay, so go ahead and do one, do, do one of the fast <laughs> ones. That's what you do.
Nice. Woo! That's beautiful. Yes, that's wow. Get to work up a good sweat. And you work up a sweat too. <laughs> that is beautiful. You know, it's a little better than just doing push-ups. I swear. I get, to get a bit of cardio in. And you use mostly your upper body. Yes. Okay. All right. Not only is there. Leg as well, but and, uh. So come on back then. <laughs> come on back. Hey, can, just give him another little round of applause there. A little love. I, I see a piece, a little piece of wood on the floor. Did that break off or flew out? Flew out. So it slides back in to yeah. keep that the leg in place. Yes, sir. Beautiful. He'll fix the wood. The wood is broke. The wood. Now imagine if that was a human body. <laughs> what kind of pain it would go through? And I want to thank you, Mr. Helper Man. You got a couple of couple good helpers. Thank you very so, much. Thank you. So, Rashawn, uh, you great. have your own studio now. Yes, sir. So now, where's your studio, and how can folks come to it, and and how can they contact you as well? First, where's the studio? Well, now uh, we just moved into a new location. Okay. It's one zero seven one seven Chandler Boulevard. Uh, North Hollywood, California, in the NoHo Arts District. Okay. Um, NoHo? Yes, NoHo. sir. NoHo? NoHo is in that district. Okay, all right. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, also, on Twitter, Kwame Rasun, R-A-H-S-U-N. Okay. Uh, uh, Sifu Rasun on YouTube. My YouTube channel now just broke over 3 million hits. Wow. Which is insane. Wow. <laughs> for Kung Fu. I can't believe it. Uh, so what, you have 3 million people have watched you do? Yes. Wow, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Pretty amazing. Uh, it is way amazing. You can way find amazing. me on Facebook, Rasun Herkel. Um, and Google me, Rasun, you can find me anywhere. Uh, I'm Maybe doing that now. your water? No. Can you give it to him? <laughs> That's yours. No. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, okay, so you can uh, come on by the Academy. First lesson is free. Uh, I have sessions every day. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are group sessions. Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, I do private lessons. I'm available for both. Um, come on by, come check it out. Uh, check out my videos on YouTube. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're a beautiful man in every way. And being out of breath, still got all the information in. We're about to go to our break. We're going to let you go. I'm going to take some pictures with you next to the, the wooden man. <laughs> and uh, this is uh, Rashawn Herkel. And you at the L.A. Uh, Michael Kaya Morning Show. I get up, I get up late. late. And our MC on air. Y'all can call in if you want to. You can chat if you want to. Otherwise, y'all can do it next week. I will be right back. Thank you. That's my job. Man. Thank you. Thank you. Tired of those same old energy drinks with bad